Yes, welcome. 2019 music right here in Ghana has been very exciting and very interesting. Lots of ups and downs, left and right, turning points, uh, people feeling sad, people feeling disappointed. But hey, the most important thing is that the three music awards diaries is just kicking off. Exactly. It's that time of the year again and we are here to celebrate music and those who make it happen. This is the three music diaries. This will give you details of what is yet to happen and highlight of what has happened from the day that academy or the board was set mm -hmm. to everything that has happened so far well all this and more lined up for the show why don't you sit back relax our pundits join us shortly and we can get into conversation three music awards 2020 So the season of voting has begun with three music awards and the journey is on and we're here today because we want to jump into the discussions with our pundits to get a clear idea and a sense of what has been the experience so far. AJ, well, how are you doing? I'm very well, thank you, Jay. Yes. So exactly as Jay said, the main event will happen on the 28th of March. Yes. But then it has been launched already. The nominees are out and I'm sure that they are already telling their people to vote oh, for yes. them because it's open. We are here today to discuss into details again just as Jay said. So stay with us. Yes, the journey has begun and my pundits are also ready. Today we want to focus a bit more on the voting process, uh, the experience at the launch and of course the uh, unveiling of the categories and the nominees nominees as well and I'm in the studio this afternoon with to my left I have uh, Kelly uh, of course and the team and pundit Kelly how are you yes, doing Kelly? Boss, yes boss yes great yes, okay, yes. Okay, we are good. sandwiching the lady aren't we? I know she's lucky <laughs> I feel good, she's oh, no, it's good well you're in safe hands yes I know <laughs> and of course to my right as well no other than the man himself Mr. George Britton we all call him Uncle George George welcome how are you doing? Mr. George yes thank you very much well, let's start off with the, the launch and the unveiling of the nominees as well. The event happened last week and I saw, you know, a lot of media personalities yeah. and stakeholders all present. What does that, let me start off with you, uh, Kelly, what does that um, go to say about the support that we have for, you know, with regards to music in this country? Um, I think it's growing. I think the support is amazing. Uh, this is the biggest nominees announcement in the history of the Three Music Awards. For the past three years, we've held a lot of events proud to the main nights but this is this is like the biggest i mean the stage was very big it felt like it's a whole concert that was about to take place uh, some of the artists were in the audience but they felt like charlie have to climb the stage and do something and so this year amazingly this has been the biggest nominees announcement party stroke concert we've ever had i'd like to take your your opinion as well george well i think i was uh, i was a bit convinced that we on the 28th of March, we're going to have a very good party because uh, the kind of people that I saw there, mm -hmm. honestly, when I was on my way there, I, I knew it was going to be big, but I, not to that magnitude, you know, I was super excited. So, like you said, uh, it looks good from the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Well, so far, so 30 categories have been put up so far. Uh, have you had a chance to actually see them? 30 cut categories. Um, yes, it's, it's an increase in the original. It was about 20 something or 20 categories. Now it's 30. Um, it looks like there's an expansion and an addition in, in there. What are your thoughts on a reason for extending, you know, the number of categories as well? Well, it reflects the dynamism of the music industry. I yes. realize that the urban music industry has evolved we've uh, mutated into a lot of genres mm -hmm. and again um, this year the board was looking at certain categories how best we can appreciate performance and live act and creativity on stage and so these other categories we were brought into the entire nomination list and so that's why we expanded it again we thought why not there are a lot of artists who are working hard from other regions these young artists need the bigger space to showcase what they have and the three music award undoubtedly is the biggest now so why not let's just bring these guys on board and then, so we open another category for the young arts and this one goes straight to them you understand it's it's for it's for the regions the your hood your people your stars how well can you prepare them onto the national stage three music has provided the stage prepare them let them perform on the three music and so this is how come we open up the nomination list and we we'll, you know uh, incorporated all these genres and categories into the list to make it very broad. Interesting. Okay, so Jay, let me ask, are we getting people from the various regions to vote for these people that you've nominated to, um, I mean, stand in for the region? Yes, um, so the voting for this particular one is in series, if I may explain. So, 
first after announcement we had the social media voting okay so we had the the polls on twitter and then a lot of the fans were there to vote okay. so in the next phase we will be announcing the short code for each um, uh, nominee you can vote from anywhere in the world you understand okay. and so that's the idea we know that you are aware that internet con con concentration in Accra mm -hmm. is huge than in any other parts of Ghana. Yeah. Therefore, if we focus only on Twitter, we may not be fair to other people living outside Accra. Mm -hmm. And this particular category is for them. It's for them to choose their neighborhood guy, the, the, the guy in your neighborhood that you think deserves a national stage. Mm -hmm. And so we have to open up. So we have a USSD code that will be announced later. And then for the hinterlands, the ghettos, everywhere in Ghana, you can vote. If you are in Tamale, Kumasi, any part of Ghana, you can vote for your new art to come onto the stage. So to answer your question, it's for them. Uh -huh. It's for them. And amazingly, some of these arts have been able to showcase their performances because of social media to other parts of the regions of Ghana. So why not? If you have the fan base, do that. Let them vote for you. Okay. If you don't have and you think you can take it from within your territory, take it. And we are not both, we are not judging based on uh, unanimous territories. We are voting specifically uh, your region. So if you, you are from voter region, your voter region people will decide who votes, who wins. You understand? Interesting. So it's, it's fair. Let me let me take the, the highlight off you and uh, bring it to Joe to get your uh your input as well. Sure, you know, uh, I kind of like where women are. Yeah. <clears throat> so therefore, I I really appreciate the board for introducing, uh, you know, empowering the woman this year. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think uh, I got excited right from the beginning, especially at the lunch. Yeah. I mean, the fact that I saw quite yeah. a number of females there. Mm -hmm. I mean, the industry is dominated by male. You understand? So for three minutes ago, was to empower the woman in the industry. I think that excites, excites me more. We will focus more on, you know, the female empowerment uh, initiative that Three Music Awards has put in. I think it gives women a very powerful platform to also have uh, made their voice heard. Yes, I, mean, I see for, that. For the fact that I'm even sitting here. Yes. 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 <laughs> <laughs> been given equal opportunity. Exactly. So I'm sitting here, Jay is here. And yeah. I have other maids. Here well, that, another exciting thing that has caught the attention of uh, a lot of people, especially the blogs, uh, the tabloids as well, is Sarko there topping the charts with 13 huh. nominations. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. We'll be yeah. discussing that in just a bit. Don't go away. Three Music Awards 2020. Here are the nominees for Three Music Awards 2020. Music Man of the Year. Kelvin Boy. Ferry, don't tell me nothing. Kelvin Boy, I did do my thing. Crazy author. Living, I would be on for well, I bet I never chicken. I'm putting my people loans, my religion. I level up shit on all my competition. Ambition. Maybe the link would be missing if I ever shoot my shot as your position. For me, yeah. It's only about me. Ah. We better miss my friend of you. Stone boy. Shut up, Wally. 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 Shut up, Still say if you see me Met a couple niggas, met a couple chicks No be all be the same I mean, Medical say, uh, Now anything I do, then go talk oh. If I want to post, then, then go talk oh. Even when I want to tweet, then, then go talk Make on a comato To vote for your favorite music man of the year Dow star 447 star 3 hush 3 Music Awards 2020 It's presented by 3 Media Networks Joy FM, Hits FM, Joy Prime TV The Fantasy Dome and ENE Ghana With support from Love FM Join New TV, Adobe FM, Adobe TV Asempa FM, Ashura FM And MyJoyOnline.com Gold Coast Restaurant, Volta Hotel Akosombo and the Radio Advertising People Trap, 3 Music Awards 2020 Music means the world to me. I honestly can't um, imagine a life without pursuing music or even having music be a part of my life. And I'm, I feel very blessed to be able to pursue it. 
My fans are supportive people. They inspire me to be better. They keep me going. And sometimes they give me the necessary push that I need. Because um, as artists, sometimes we also feel down. And it's nice to see messages from fans and you know videos expressing how much they love products of what we do. I think my social impact in this industry is to inspire. I do music that a lot of people can relate to. And basically the sort of songs that you can play when you're going through anything in your life. Whether you're sad, whether you're happy, whether you're in a loving relationship. I think my music is that kind. My name is Adina and I'm here for the music, the fans and the impact. This is my power of three. We Music Awards, here for the music. Here are the nominees for Three Music Awards 2020. Woman of the Year, Wendy Shea. If they pin them, say I don't look flat. No see my hips, no delight. If they pin them, say I get hit on. Becca. I drive a license, but I don't drive the people insane. With my plate and plenty nonsense, said I don't drive the people insane. This body down low, uh, baby boy you know fi control. You say you want lick that sugar, dun dun dun. Share that nika, dun dun dun. You for cool your temper, dun dun dun. Sister Ifia. Say do you wet that now you know? Say do you wet that now you know? Strong yeah me say, now watch him be make a cry. Dinah Hamilton. Baby I'm a friend, baby I'm a G. But they're fool. One over to me on your way. Obapa Christie Sina Soul To vote for your favorite music woman of the year Dow Star 447 Star 3 Hush 3 Music Awards 2020 It's presented by 3 Media Networks Joy FM, Hits FM, Joy Prime TV The Fantasy Dome and ENE Ghana With support from Love FM Joy News TV, Adobe FM, Adobe TV Asempa FM, Ashura FM And MyJoyOnline.com Gold Coast Restaurant, Volta Hotel Akosombo and the Radio Advertising People Trap 3 Music Awards 2020 Welcome back. Just before we left, we were talking about Sarkozy bagging 13 nominations. That's a whole lot. Yeah. 13 nominations. I mean, he's not the only artist here in Ghana. No. What exactly did he do differently? Well, that's what we're going to find out with our pundits as well. The one that even catches our attention most is the best collaboration. Let me yes. start off with you, yes. George. Now, in that category, you have quite a number of artists in there. Sarkozy yeah. has done massive collaborations this uh, 2019. You know, that has earned him the the spots on the best collaboration now um it, the focus was on sarah but what, what do you think yeah with if yeah what, what do you think would be the the board's reason for nominating the song you know as over the other songs that he's done you know with the upcoming artists and all? i think when you take a listen to sarah yes it's, it just went viral after the first week and uh, this is sarko mm -hmm. i mean sarko has something with him especially when he features a fear and i think i mean there's a uh, chemistry that works so perfectly for them and uh, you know uh people were expecting too much of rap rap music but he knows and he understands how the game goes so he was able to touch our source spot and hey but, but, but don't there. you think that um you know for uh his involvement with the upcoming artists the purpose the objective uh, probably a song like the uh, bb bar featuring yeah. the various artists mm -hmm. would have been yeah. a song that yeah. would have earned the best yeah. collaboration yeah. Well, it's about the insights, it's about data, it's about research, it's about what feedback we get from whatever we threw out there. And you know, uh, Sarko there, we cannot take away the fact that this, like you are saying, he did something with the young arts. Then again, he came back to Black Love to do something with the big guys. And it should tell you that in 2019, he was able to club in a lot of influence from both ends. And so, a research team will sit down and look at where the data is huge. You understand, and please, you know, they are bet on that. And looking at two artists like Sarkodie and Ifia on a track, on a love track, on the on the if you like the African blues, that yeah. is fused with the okay. Afro beats, and we have the hip life. And boss, it's huge, not because of uh, the fact that maybe it's just Sarkodie, but 
the the creation of that particular song and, and again black love came up with a lot of hype okay. just after shatawali beyonce feel sakode came out very very strongly with black love and so we we're quite expectant of that album and so anything from that album and with ifia and sakode we just slept woke up one morning they are trending everybody wants to check it out and uh, you can check the figures they are it's huge uh, the fire caught up across africa and so the researchers at three music awards brought the figures and, and the board could not you know just stay away from such so, fantastic yeah. figures george mentioned uh, uncle george mm -hmm. <laughs> uncle george yes yeah, he mentioned the fact that we know supporting to be a rapper yeah and understand he came the song. yeah so apart from the fact that the song blew and all that did we consider sarkodia is a rapper and he's singing this time he's doing something interesting question so. you said no we didn't consider that but you say like you said with the stats uh, how many people are so much in love mm -hmm. with our music now the ones that feature the young ones, it's cool. I mean, it's a hip hop thing. It's good for the youth, but we want we don't want to get involvement of people above the youth age. You understand? Which I think the Sarah song did magic. I mean, for me as an R and B lover, uh, I'm able to you know jump to that song. So hey, how many of my kinds are kinds are out there? So I think Sarah could have did amazing stuff. Uh, even even before the researchers came in, I mean, Sarah has been the uh, among the top five songs in Ghana yeah. since. It was released mm -hmm. so so it's just not just a song i think it's a powerful song it is a powerful <laughs> song and talking about powerful equally in the category we also have quite a number of artists in there and yes. that are all vying for the position you yes. know in the gospel space yes. you're talking celestine donko and mm -hmm. uh in shreba gideon with their song bread of life equally competitive with uh, stone boy and beanie man's mm -hmm. uh is it sugar Yes, a sugar. Now, what would be your? Um, I don't know if I should so run you through. What would be your there your top equal. three <laughs> that we should probably look out for in that best collaboration? Don't, of don't ask the board member to do anything. <laughs> Nobody says it, it's your personal opinion <laughs> of of the board. Yes, George, you want to say something? No, but even if you, if you, if you go ahead to ask you, uh, you said like we kept saying, uh, we actually had more than this figure here. Wow. Mm. We had mm. about 15 plus, mm. you understand? But mm. so for you to see these names here, that means that these were the ones who were able to, mm. you know, come uh, with, the, with the with expectation. I mean, we wanted to add more, mm. but unfortunately, we had a cutoff point. Uh, and to add to what George said, you see, when nomination list comes out and people go like, oh, Charlie, uh, why didn't you add this song? This song was big. You see, we go out there, we send people out there on the field, people sit behind computers and do researches. And then they come out with figures, findings that we can you know, compute and come out with a final list. And you can come out with a final list of 30 top songs. We cannot list all of them. And so we know that they are very good songs. However, we need to push out certain particular songs. And so that's why we have a board. Board will vote. There are secret balloting. There are various aspects of voting. And so people will look at the song critically. People will come and look at the sound. Uh, yeah. how the, the frequency is people will look at the figures online people will go and check radio figures we work, we work with a lot of event statisticians we work with uh, people who collate data on radio um, what do you call them one of the is it kissima we had kissima uh -huh. we, we had some of them and so we have these figures from people like that individually board members have those figures and we look at these things and so when it comes to oh this song is good yes we agree they are good but then that's why there's a board who we'll look at uh, let, me you, let, me, let me cut you in here and still yeah. try and pull this out of you if possible i mean uh, it's a very not to say sakode is winning this uh, this category yeah. um the nomination is in there uh, there are other powerful songs like dj mike right, smith right. with pato yeah. ranking yeah. you know um jama and that song is going across africa mm -hmm. these are huge songs you know that are in, in that category which ones would you say top three of your mind would you say <laughs> are, the, are very powerful that are tipped and to we win don't, we don't How many Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes there are about 10 so there's Kwamina empty so feature that, that's medical like amount for girls which is equally jammed like across the christmas my top season. 10 because it got to the point where the board couldn't go any further mm -hmm. we just have to stick with the 10 so that's like reflect my top your top yes in there. no so jay no are you trying to say that if you had other powerful songs yes to make the list like 20 mm -hmm. you would have added everything no if if we had um it if it's allowed um okay allowed okay. here means that uh, the award scheme has revamped its policies etc okay. and say give a category 20 nominations okay so you have a minimum we have a minimum to meet okay you understand because there are a lot of good songs wow. out there very yeah. good songs yeah. that fall in this particular 
category. Mm -hmm. And the figures are also equally matching. Mm -hmm. So then you have to look at, it's like two uh, candidates for an election. And they are all, both, they are good. Yeah. But you need one president. Yes. You know, and so in that particular arena, we agree that all the 30 songs or 20 songs are powerful. We respect every artist. Okay. However, we need to run a, a scheme and the, the scheme has a policy. And so thankfully we have a board and the board have different research. Our board is more than a year. That means advantage we have over others. It means that we have more than 12 months to do research. So each board member comes out to a meeting. When we went to Akosomo, it, it wasn't a play field. <laughs> People had computers, laptops, and the researches that you have to prepare a particular category into a nominee, into a list, bring it out, put it on a projector, let's analyze it. And so those are the things we are able to use to trim down that huge number to let's say seven, eight, ten. You both play a very strong role when it comes to social media and uh, in fact, let me say digital media and one of the uh, also categories that Star Cordia got a nomination uh, for his 13 nominations as Digital Act of the Year. A very also strong competitive category. Mind mention the names of the artists in there as well. Oh. We had the likes of... Um, so there is Joey B, there is Star Cordia, there is Stoneboy Medical, Shatawali, strong, strong Man, sorry, and Wendy Shea. Whose digital game has been impressive? Hold on, before that, why do we have just one lady in there? <laughs> no, well... Why just one lady? Just one lady because I think she is the one that has been uh, working quite harder than others. Okay. You know, I, I spoke to I mean, after these awards came out, this, the nominations came out, a gospel artist called me and I said, why don't you guys involve us in that? And I was like, yo, listen, you see, over the years we've been complaining about the fact that gospel people don't even believe in watch the guitar because it's stem satanic mm. before today so that's where the world is moving okay we are in the guitar space and that is where we are heading so let me let me first and foremost say to the gospel people listen make use of your internet make use of your digital space your, your social media mm -hmm. in this case is the future so while back back so to the back question to, yes. um uh, you know it's, it's it's a very strong competitive mm -hmm. uh you see like like, like, like kelly said earlier yeah. like kelly said earlier we still work with stats you understand okay. uh, so i think t next year hopefully we're going to see more because our agenda now is to empower more women mm -hmm. so we are telling the women that listen there's possible in there so what you need to do is push yourself okay let's okay so let's take them individually let's start off with let's let's just analyze their digital games so far and what mm -hmm. what they deliberately did during the year in review 2019 that got them that, that got them the nominations yes, yes, yes. uh let's start off with the likes of um mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, Wendy Shea, one of the most tr trolled, know, um, know, you know, celebrities know. that we have in this in this country. Yeah. What, what do you make of her strategy, uh, you know, following well, her on social media? I think Wendy Shea became a social media thing, a brand online after the demise of Ebony. And she didn't enter the music industry. And a lot of times, like uh, George was saying, gospel musicians don't digitally market, market their, their products. But these secular musicians do that. And when you say quickly hit Twitter, she was on Instagram, she was on Facebook. And then again, she used the commercialized stores. Mm -hmm. And so these figures from the, from the what do you call it, um, our research team shows that when she has done a lot of work. And you know, uh, three music by default loves women. I mean, our policy is, <laughs> yeah. uh, is gender bias. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but when it comes to digital, um, because it's digits, it has to do with zero ones. Okay. And so it's, wow. it's, it's right in your face. Mm -hmm. You understand? And so people like, first, we know Sakura used to terrorize the internet space. Mm -hmm. So Shatawale and the rest entered the scene. But the figures from a, a lady like Wendy Shea, I, I can tell you, some of her video views are Charlie. About serious. And, and it's not even about the numbers, it's about the interactivity. If you look, you look at our category definition, you can see and engagement with fans. And recently, even in 2020, she's been doing a lot of engagement on Twitter. She wants to bring her Twitter A game on. Yeah. And these are the things we are looking out for. You know I'm talking about looking out for as well. Let me bring it back to you with regards to Shatawale and his uh, digital strategy mm -hmm. that has earned him, you know, the stripes and the stars that has brought him here this I think I think Shata is one one artist that trends almost every week. There isn't a single week that Shata will not be among the top three trends. How does he do it? I mean, like you said, he's so he gets so interact uh, interactive with his fans. 
uh, Shutter will respond to almost every tweet, uh, whether it's good or whether it's positive or yeah. negative, yeah. Still, uh, you know, response to it. So, these are some of the things that we, we, we look at. Now, we are encouraging people to make use of this space. You understand, especially in the days where nobody buys CDs. I mean, uh, when, I, when I look at this list, of course, I'm going to see, I'm going to follow them and listen to their music if I don't know these guys. I'm going to follow them on social media and and I know by doing so, I'm going to stream their music. Who, who gains at the end of the day? They are going to. So we, what we are saying is that make use of your space. I mean, when I look at Joey B, one thing comes to mind. Yeah. Last year, he was a goat. Yeah, it was <laughs> anywhere, anywhere I saw, anywhere yes. I saw a goat. Yes, the little bunny was on point. Yes. Yeah. Me, anywhere yeah. I saw a goat, JK, what's his name? Joey B came to mind. Sarko there, you know, he was training for good good reasons yeah. if i should put it good reasons yeah. uh somebody like then again stone boy mm. i mean stone boy should only see the, uh, the, the guitar space yeah when they are beef from from one concert yeah. you know to a whole piece yeah. thing i mean they see the other side that they've been able to you know play concerts release yeah. jam after yeah. jam you know mm. and uh, let me move to medica Oh. Another, another, another yeah, son of the internet. Yeah, you yeah. know, so I mean, these guys. I think when you, when we look beyond these people, uh, it will be it will be difficult to add certain names. Yeah, I think we wanted to cut seven, and these are the top seven. Yeah. Okay, you hope you Yeah. Do you think that the artists make a deliberate effort to get interactive on social media just to keep their consistency? No, uh, you see, so this is it. I mean, as as uh, as an artist manager, I would advise my artists to you know create events that would develop talkability, mm -hmm. uh, because if you want to stay relevant in this day and age, you people need to talk about you. Okay. And I'm not sure uh, most of these guys you know thrive on negative too many negative news okay. uh, most of them about their music about their concert you know let's say you know let's say something here and there but for an artist to stay relevant this time you need to be able to be especially your a game on you know especially on social media, media yes yeah. Okay. Interesting. Well, great. When we come back, uh, we're taking a quick breather, but when we come back, we'll also be focusing on another two artists while talking Shatawale and Stoneboy, who are right behind Circle. There's 13 nominations with 10. How about that? Three Music Awards 2020. Here are the nominees for Three Music Awards 2020 Hip Life Hip Hop Act of the Year Manifest Sarkodie Joey B Kwamino MP Crazy Arthur Medical Kofi Mole Dope Nation To vote for your favorite Hip Life Hip Hop Act of the Year Dow Star 447 Star 3 Hush Three Music Awards 2020 It's presented by Three Media Networks Joy FM Hits FM Joy Prime TV The Fantasy Dome And ENE Ghana With support from Love FM Join New TV Adobe FM Adobe TV Asempa FM Ishura FM And MyJoyOnline.com Gold Coast Restaurant Volta Hotel Aco Sombo and the radio advertising people. Trap 3 Music Awards 2020. Music means so much to me as an individual, as a person. Sephira is music because you know when other people have people to talk to when they are growing up and stuff like that. First of all, I always say that I don't have fans. I have family. I have cyber family. I have people who don't know me but they are supporting me like they are my family. I have people that are always there to listen to my music, the impact my music has. I think my music is something that everybody can relate to no matter who you are, if you are grown, you are young, you are a boy, you are a girl. My music is something that if you really want to talk to somebody, tell the person that hey, you can just send them my song. <laughs> What's up guys, it's your favorite girl Sefa and I'm here for the music, the fans and the impact. This is my power of three. Dun dun dun. Three Music Awards, here for the music.